Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your love scope for the last two weeks of September. So let's see what's in store for you guys. What's going on? What's happening? What's being triggered? What's being brought up? What is the divine wanting you to look at, see, feel, hear? All of those lovely things. So what's going on for Aries? for the last two weeks of September. Okay, here we go. So what's going on for you guys in the end of September? One more card, I'd like please, thank you. So we have warrior. So you're gaining your strength, you're finding your strength to make contact perhaps or someone else is finding the strength to make contact they are aware of the the um, remorse they feel about what transpired in the past and they are aware of needing divine help so what i'm getting from this is that your person the person you're watching this for is trying to tap into their inner warrior so they can find the strength the strength to break through and make contact to you break through the silence if you guys have no communication break through the veil that keeps them from reaching out to you and they're but the thing is that they are aware they are aware that this veil that is blocking them is the remorse they're feeling for things that transpired in the past this could be any actions they took towards you they might have said something to you that they think is unforgivable, that you will never forgive them for, or perhaps they uh, won't, um, they don't think that you will forgive them, basically. But they're also realizing now that the divine is coming in. Whether they like it or not, the, the divine is going to help them. And we have all these hands here. It's about reaching out for help, but also accepting the help when it is given to you. And this is where your person's at at the moment. They are being, they're being, um, someone's reaching out their hand. The divine is reaching out their hand to help them up, to lift them up through this um, pit, perhaps. They've put themselves in because they've been in this energy of regret and remorse for things they've done and said to you in the past. But let's get some more clarifications here. Let's look at contact first. What's going on with contact here? Tell me more about contact. What kind of contact is coming in in the last two weeks for Aries in September? Why is the contact card here? Tell me more about contact. Tell me more about contact. We have observer. They might have been observing you on social media. Um, this could be that they've been checking out your Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest, any and all things where they can get their hands on any kind of information about you. They've been observing you and they're feeling perhaps uh, gaining that perhaps now is the time for me to make contact with you. Uh, things are perhaps looking uh, uh, amenable in your feed. Uh, there's Perhaps, you, perhaps you're posting things that are of love and light and they think perhaps now is a good time because you are you are vibrating high and you are soaring and they're seeing that and they're thinking that you know perhaps this is the, this is this is what I've been waiting for I am going to now take the chance and um, and make contact with you but tell me more about observer and contact tell me more about observer and contact we have received tell me more okay we have received and deception here more hands this is the something um really that has to do perhaps it's a special message for someone out there um uh, hands might have some kind of significance to you guys um this will not be for everyone this is a general reading so please take what resonates leave the rest please but they have received that all this deception that came in the past, which is what's bringing the remorse, all this deception has to kind of like come out. They have to make contact and give you truth, truth about some things that they perhaps deceited you on. Um, tell me more about remorse. 
we have pause so they've been um, perhaps stuck in the energy of remorse stuck in the past thinking about whatever happened um, that caused them to perhaps be deceitful uh, and uh, and do whatever they did to you. And we have summer here with inner child. So what I'm getting from this is that during the past summer here, if you're in the, in the Northern Hemisphere, they've been working on healing their inner child. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, summer will be coming up for you guys shortly. They will be he working on healing their inner child. They know that perhaps this, this deception, that they, um, the deception, the deception energy they were in stems from childhood trauma, stems from something that happened in their childhood, hence causing them to act this way. It doesn't excuse them or forgive them from doing this to you, but it explains some of it. Let's have a look at divine help. What is the divine specifically helping other than healing and steering them on the right path? Let me get one more card. Okay, so we have fear and twin flame. So this is the deal, Aries. They are afraid. We have another hand there. And it kind of looks like this received hand here. Like, And then we have this veil coming through, pushing through the veil of these two, these hands. This is the thing. They, they are in a place of fear. They are afraid that if they perhaps break through, make contact with you, someone who they have a soul connection with, they might fuck things up, is what they're feeling. But the thing here is that the divine is here to help. Help them conquer this fear, put this fear aside, get out of their pride and ego, which is causing them to feel fear, making them stepping in to step into their hearts, where they can then follow their heart, receive the loving healing energy of the divine and the universe so that they can then make contact with their twin flame their soul connection you aries this is what the divine is specifically um helping your person with other than the general things but this is the main um main focus so to speak when it comes to divine help so aries that is your reading I hope that resonates for you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.